It was the perfect ending to what appeared to be a real life fairy tale. We're married, guys. I have my grandmother's Husband. ring on. Marissa Fuchs, a popular Instagram blogger, tying the knot in Paris with her financier boyfriend, Gabriel Grossman, last Friday, just three days after sharing this video with her more than 160,000 followers. I have the most important question in my life to ask you. Grossman sending Fuchs on a whirlwind globe-trotting adventure from New York City to the Hamptons, then Miami. The bride-to-be seemingly surprised at each stop as she made her way to the city of love, the final destination of the elaborate engagement that quickly went viral. Barneys or somewhere to pick out what potentially could be my engagement dress. While documenting her journey marked by emotional reactions to lavish gifts, Fuchs grew her following to nearly 200,000 as Instagram became captivated by the love story as it unfolded. But now, some are questioning if the newlyweds worked together to stage the so-called surprise proposal and wedding as part of a calculated business strategy. The skepticism coming after this 13-page document detailing the engagement surfaced on day two of the journey. One of Fuchs' friends saying she'd worked with Grossman to prepare the document, using it to ask companies for sponsorships in exchange for mentions on Fuchs' Instagram page. It's supposed to be a logistical plan, um, but the world has found out, so I am stealing Marissa's phone for the next God knows how long, and we're going to get through this. It remains unclear if any companies actually sponsored the couple. However, none of their posts include the mandatory disclosure of paid advertisements required by the Federal Trade Commission. Thanks, guys, for following along. It's been amazing. The act of popping the question sparking a new question this morning. Did they do it for love or for money? The answer unclear in the filtered reality of social media. So NBC News reached out to Fuchs and Grossman, who aren't commenting at this time. Fuchs also serves as the director of brand partnerships at Goop. But since the saga began, she's removed her title from her Instagram bio. In a statement to The New York Times, Goop said it had nothing to do with the proposal. And it's opened an internal review because Fuchs didn't actually go through the proper channels to request formal approval from the company. So there are still a lot of questions this morning, guys. You don't know what's real. We have a lot of well, questions. I think we have a <laughs> <laughs> of what's real.